Recently, there was an announcement um, both by the by David Cameron and uh, by President Obama that you know they, they are willing to cut off aid to countries who do not recognize LGBT rights. No, we want to object to that as just being manipulation. President Obama issued a directive to all U.S. government agencies that engage in international activities to make advancing LGBT rights a top priority. We have done more in the two and a half years that I've been in here than the previous 43 presidents to uphold that principle. The Obama administration defends the human rights of LGBT people as part of our comprehensive human rights policy and as a priority of our foreign policy. For us, family stands at the heart of everything we do. We live for the family. Gay rights are human rights and human rights are gay rights. We do not want any discrimination against anybody under any condition, whether sexual or otherwise. But we have to state clearly and forcefully that this concept stands against everything we stand for in Africa. They actually said that for us to combat HIV and AIDS, we needed to legalize prostitution, legalize homosexuality. Infection rates are going up in the U.S. Huh? They're going down in Kenya. They seem to be going down in Ethiopia now. They went down in a major way in Uganda. And yet we're going to these countries and telling them how to prevent AIDS. Our approach is gradual. Abstinence, be faithful to each other. But if you can't, use the condom. What is amazing is that these countries that are har harassing us, smaller countries, in these countries, the rate of HIV AIDS, it is said to be out of control. What arrogance to, for us to tell them how to do something that they're doing better than we are. And that's, that should be obvious to the casual observer. UNAIDS published and circulated an email which was false and malicious ab about me because they felt that they needed to have in the document language relating to men who have sex with men and sex workers. As a result of the pressure that UNAIDS put to bear in this email, I was advised that my contract would not be renewed. My brother Luigi and I had an opportunity to go to the United Nations where we saw developed countries trying to force the African countries to accept comprehensive sexuality education. It's about starting when we're with children about the expectation of, of, of roles and we need to start there. This kind of education tells youth they can have fun and have sex and just use condom. This kind of message was a death sentence to not only both of my parents but also my brother Rogerio. This is because it lets um, our population believe they can let their guard down and they can actually behave in risky behavior because of the uh, belief that these condoms can actually prevent AIDS 100% and that is not true. In Dr. Green's book, Broken Promises, how the AIDS establishment has betrayed the developing world, he says the research shows that the sexual rights approach to AIDS prevention, championed by the UN and Western donor countries, may actually be increasing the rate of infections, not bringing them down. And if he is right, millions have died unnecessarily. Well, the end result will be deconstruction of what we of the family system and the family structure in Jamaica. It is an affront to the principles of the UN Charter. A UN agency should not be allowed to overstep its bounds in such a manner. What we're seeing is the LGBT agenda being pushed, you know, like a carrot stick for aid money. You want aid money, then you must uh, change your laws. These issues of uh, lays Transvites, transsexuals. This is a new form of imperialism, I must say. It's deception.